Thank you for purchasing the Sphere and Spectrometer system from Everfine Company. In the next video, we will show you how to install it and use the system. Open all the equipment boxes and take it out. Check whether the following equipment is available. 0.5 meter sphere. A computer with the Windows system, Windows 7 tenths, and 232 serial port. LED 300E is used as an example here. 1 Haas series spectrometer. Standard lamp D062S. Place the sphere on the left side of the computer, and the spectrometer and LED 300E power supply on the left side of the sphere. Connect the power line of the spectrometer and the power supply. Then connect the pulse line to the corresponding socket behind the spectrometer and the pulsed power supply respectively. Connect the USB communication line to the spectrometer and the USB interface of the computer. And connect the 232 communication line to the pulsed power supply and the corresponding serial port of the computer respectively. If the computer does not have a serial port, use a USB 232 conversion cable to connect. Insert the optical fiber into the spectrometer and the sphere respectively. And screw the thin end into the spectrometer interface and fix it with a nut. The other end is inserted into the hole on the integrating sphere. One of which is directly inserted into the optical fiber. The other is used for the transfer attenuator and the end of the optical fiber is flush with the inner wall plane of the sphere. All instruments have been installed and fixed. After all devices are turned on, the USB devices need to update the driver in the device manager. The 232 serial port devices does not need to install the driver when connecting to the PC for the first time. Right-click Computer Management Device Manager, the device to be updated will appear exclamation mark reminder, right-click to select the update driver and browse the computer to select the driver, usually placed in the USB or CD device. After the installation is complete, you can find the corresponding device name and device manager, indicating that the driver is updated successfully. Next, open the software disk of the machine configuration, click the LE spec folder, click setup.exe in it, select the desired installation path or the default path, and complete the installation according to the boot. The firstly installed software needs to be authorized. Click to start the software, and the authorization page will be displayed. After authorization is complete, you can use the software normally. If this step is difficult, skip this step and choose Try Out to access the software. Follow-up can contact Everfine After Sales staff to authorize the software. After entering the software, the software will automatically connect with the instrument. If the connection fails, please check whether the comport and type are right, then restart the software. Wearing white gloves, take out the standard lamp, insert the standard lamp into the sphere power socket of the standard lamp, adjust the height of the sphere lamp pole, so that the standard lamp is aligned with the white board center. Connect the power supply line into the power supply port of LED 300E. Open the software, click Operation LED Polarity, and change it from automatic to manual. Lick Operation Fast Spectrometer Calibration Spectrocolorimeter, input the data on the standard lamp box including luminous flux, color temperature, current and voltage. Note that the input voltage should be 1 2 volt larger than the reference voltage on the box. Fill in the stabilization time of 5 minutes, check to complete the calibration all gains one time, click Fast Cal to start the calibration. When the calibration is finished, a window will pop up indicating that the calibration has been completed. Click OK to complete the calibration steps. Click Test, automatically select Integral Time Test, compare the data on the standard lamp box to verify the accuracy of calibration data. Of which, the luminous flux is plus or minus 1% and the color temperature is plus or minus 15K. After the comparison data is accurate, click OFF to turn off the light, take out the standard light and put it back in the box after cooling. 
At this point, the system calibration process is completed. Install the measured LED correctly on the corresponding fixture, insert it into the side opening of the sphere, and then insert the power supply line of the fixture into the output port of the power supply. Click Operation Set the Maximum Output Voltage Set the Current Set the Pulse Width Change the Integral to the Auto. There is not the auto integration in the pulse mode, should get it at the test screen. The pulse width ratio is 10 larger than the integration time. Click Operation Fast Test Test or the shortcut key F2 F3 directly to start the measurement. Double-click the measurement result to edit the test information, select the measurement result and click the file in the upper left corner to export the results into PDF or Excel. The above steps are a test process. More information can be obtained from the user's manual. Thank you for your patience. If you have any questions during the installation test, please email service at everfine.cn for more answers.